Hello, everybody. My name is Invicta, and welcome back to TCG Shop Simulator here on the channel. Today, we're going to be continuing our adventure here on 51 and 52 for our days. Now, I've had a couple of people tell me that empty shelves apparently are the enemy of our current shop iteration. So what I've done is I've I've used most of that. We spent over $4,500 to restock as much as possible. And then after that, I've taken that advice literally and made sure that we at least don't have any empty shelves currently. Now, this doesn't leave me a whole lot of room for pack openings right now, but I have adjusted the mod as well. I think that we were going too fast, uh, which is the reason why that the, um, the high value uh, cards, whenever we hit them, uh, was not stopping with the auto open. So I think that it was just a matter of the mod just going way too fast. But I have increased the threshold to 100 as well. And we'll see. But thank you again for very much for the feedback, everybody. Let's hop on in and see if... Let, let's see if this new if this new approach to making sure that there's no empty shelves in there in in the shop will uh, we'll, we'll take or not. So, um, But yeah, again, I appreciate all the support, everyone. Thank you again for clicking the like button, getting us over to a thousand likes. It's the best way to let me know that you all want to continue to see this shop and improve. Um, I'm still okay with doing the, with doing the mods right now. Uh, a couple people mentioned that we might be opening too many packs than intended, uh, during the day, but I'm okay with that. As long as we're, as long as we're able to, to push sales and stuff like that. Again, I kind of liken it to simply just we're all we're doing is we're just skipping to the hits. And I think that that is more than fair. And I am more in favor of saving myself some real lifetime and y'all some real lifetime as well, rather than trying to maintain like, you know, Oh, well, normally you can only open this amount of packs. Cause I, I don't think, I think that the pack opening does appeal to some people, but I also think that a main, the main source of appeal to this series is watching the shop grow and the interactions with the customers and stuff. So I'm not too concerned with using the mod right now uh, to just save us time. And speaking of which, let's open up these packs. Let's see how fast 80 goes. It's still really fast. Uh, $31 there, we got an EX hit. Are we sure that this is 80? This feels like 100. Okay, we might, might have to turn it down a little bit more than that. That was eight packs already. Uh, speed multiplier is at 80. Let's turn this down to 50. Let's see how, let's see how that works here. Uh, what packs do we want? Let's see. I haven't opened Destiny in a while, but I think... Well, let's, we'll stick to basic Tetramon for now. Let's see how fast this is. That's still really freaking fast, dude. In, in fact, I would say that this is nowhere... This is no slower than what we just got done doing. Yeah, that is... Uh, oh, we got a full art there. Yeah, that's still really, really fast. Like, really fast. Um, turn it down to, like, 10, I guess? I don't know... I don't know if these say... If these, if these changes are actually taking... Uh, in the mod. Whoops. Uh, either way, got that gold hydroid and that full art, so we're definitely going to put those bad boys out. Yeah, let's get 10% round on that. And the hydron. Just say three hundo for that one. Making sure that we're keeping our singles. I need to stop hitting F1. Uh, Single shelf stocked here, especially with EX cards. We should be approaching the Destiny expansion very soon for the first tournament, I think. Hello, Boba. One, two. There we go. One, two. Apparently, we've never sold this one before. And we'll see if keeping the shelves stocked is is going to be is, is going to be something that uh, that helps out, making sure that we just have we have no empty spots. So I do. If that is the case, I do see the appeal of having a stalker uh, and keeping up a, a bunch of, of full of filled shelves of stock because that's gonna if that's truly what drives the engagement for the customers and stuff and making sure that there that there are no empty spots, then having a full-time stalker does make sense. Now that being said, <clears throat> I still don't think that we're moving enough currently anyway to justify, spending another four hundred dollars or three hundred dollars whatever the whatever the salary was for dennis um so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna commit to that yet hi pair 
Um, stop hitting F1. I'm, I'm, all I'm trying to do is get to my, my binder here. There we go. Got a Voltrex EX. What are we looking like on the expansion? So we are, we're 426 away from unlocking the next event. Um, we can stand to get, we, we now, we can now order more stuff. And I definitely would like to do that. Um, I could probably take those destiny packs out or I can just order another, another case of destiny packs. It's fine. We need a couple, we need one thing of collector's books. Uh, we need red deck boxes and all these figurines over here. This, this all this stuff was just filler. Cause I wanted to see, I, I just wanted to, to take that advice in the most literal of senses and, uh, make sure that there was no empty shelves anywhere in the shop. Uh, which I have achieved. So we need a lot of basic ETBs too. So I think that should be the first order that we get. Let's just get uh, let's get five of them there. We need red deck boxes, and we'll get sixteen of those. Get some of those. Another cleanser because we're just going through cleansers left and right here. Uh, Destiny. Let's get two cases of Destiny. There we go. Oh yeah, and the books too. Let's get the collection books. There we go. All right, let's restock this. We got a lot of a lot of stuff to do. Hi, Josh. Keeping everything full here. Got a stinky Linus walking through the door. Lenses seem to be doing the jobs now, and I'm glad that we uh, I'm glad that we were able to fix the. Uh, whole sign issue again i didn't know about this sign they, the game doesn't doesn't say hey by the way there's a sign over here that you can prevent them from from walking into that door a little a little bit of of transparency there by the game when you open up this the shop b would be a little bit nice but again it's a it's a minor thing it's not it's not a huge deal certainly not a deal breaker for this game which has been awesome to play and i'm still i'm really enjoying it like it, it is honestly one of the sleeper hits for me and the fact that people still enjoy it here on the channel and still support it and actively want to see more of it is so awesome. And I cannot thank everyone enough for all the support on this series. It's been, it has been so satisfying to be able to, to play this game and, uh, and have people just still be super, super stoked about it. I'm going to put this here on the shelf for now. There's still six left in there and let's get some collection books. Hi bear. Don't mind me, just putting some stuff on the shelf. So taking more of an active role and making sure that stuff is stocked. Got more basic ETBs. Oh, baby. Now, now we're stocked here on this. All right, so we can put these bad boys up for now. And we got some destiny packs. There we go. More destiny packs. Hola, says Alex. I did tell Ravs, by the way, Ravs from the Yogg's cast, if you don't know who I'm talking about. I told him uh, that he does have a character and he he laughed about it. He said that the game wasn't for him, and I, I totally understand that. Um, the appeal of, of Shop Sim definitely, it, it speaks to stop hitting F1, you moron. It definitely appeals to the people who are into TCGs for sure. And probably less so for people who are into the whole simulator genre. Um, Rav said that he just got done doing a, apparently he was doing a grocery store simulator. And uh, that that all, that's also a very, very highly rated one. I know I've seen a lot of my friends play that one. Um, and I honestly probably wouldn't be as as stoked about that one as I am this one here. Oh yeah, I also put my my only singles up. Whoops. Um, but I do. I will say that I'm enjoying this one. I, I've never I've never played this genre of game before. I think that it, it is they're usually copy pasted for me. And I've talked I've talked about this from the beginning. I do think that there is a certain level of appeal of appeal if done the right way. And and this game definitely does it the right way um, with being in the whole TCG genre. 
So, yeah, that's, that's the whole reason why I have a line of Destiny packs there is just because I wanted to fill out the shelves. So, uh, we can get some more stuff here. Let's see what we what we don't have. What what have we not unlocked yet? We got those. We're missing the license for something. Yeah, so the Decimite figurine. We can buy that. And then let's get a couple. Let's get let's get. I mean, twelve is twelve is probably fine, right? Yeah, twelve is probably fine. The lights here everybody excuse me thank you and we can start stocking these shelves here they do look pretty awesome i will admit set these here It's kind of funny how this game turns into an action game. <laughs> when you get to a certain level of uh, of inventory. There we go. And one more for the Decimite figurines. There we go, Raz. Raz picking up a... He got a pygmy figurine. I think he did. Oh no, he got a decimite one. Cool. All right, we gotta we gotta rip some packs here, though. I haven't I haven't been ripping anything today. I feel I feel I feel dirty. I feel naked. Get a couple of you. Okay. Let's see if ten percent is any is any slower. Uh. It's definitely slower. It's not as blazingly fast as 80 or even 50 was. There we go. I need to remember that I, I need to not put out our only... If we only have singles and that's it, like single copies of a card, I need to not put them out. Um, I, need, I need to make sure I'm doing that. So anything that we have multiples of, we can definitely put out here. go let's just put these out here doing a good job keeping up with singles we need three more one two three yeah those are still looking good how are we doing on the on the event here okay we're getting we're getting closer we're still not Really going as fast as I would like on that, but we're getting closer. Let's pay the bills. Two thousand dollars. What? I I know I didn't miss a day. I know for a fact I didn't miss a day. Didn't I? I could have swore I I paid it at the end of today or at the end of yesterday. In the start of my restocking. Okay, well, we only get ten minutes left of uh, ten minutes left of sales here. So, Clark's gonna be done for the day. Thank you, Clark. Take care of this fine gentleman here. Thank you. So Clark is done. I'm going to man the register here. So we'll see if we ended up selling more with no with no empty shelves for the majority of the day. There's a couple left over here, but eight dollars. Thank you, ma'am. Got JJ Watt over here. Uh, Forty dollars your change. Thank you, sir. So we could use more more bat plushies. Go, everything else looking solid. I don't think we're gonna get to pay rent today, but we'll have to pay it. At, we'll have, that's got to be priority number one on the next day. 
Linus grabbing himself some ETBs. Good to see you. Sorry, I know I know I'm I'm busier these days, Linus. With uh with me taking more a more active role in stocking and managing and stuff. I'm still here though. I'm I'm the I'm the OG. OG original cashier. I'm the OC. OC OG. Justin. What'd you get, Justin? Fire sleeves, dude. $22. Thank you, sir. Hi, Bear. Oh my gosh. Bear buying a whole bunch of a whole bunch of win starter decks. Good lord. Almost wiped us out, buddy. There we go. Good day. I think we earned a lot of revenue there. So let's let's see how much we did total. 13 complaints. Uh revenue almost 7k. So that seems like a lot, but I'm going to I'm actually going to put this in a calculator real quick just so I have it down. So today we earned $6,968.71. Okay. So that's our baseline, and we'll see how that compares to tomorrow. I'm not looking at the profit or, or I'm not looking at the margin. I'm just looking at what we made today. So, uh, and we need how much for rent now? We need 3878. Good lord, man. 3878. All right, let's make sure. We can do a little bit of light restocking here. We can use one thing at green deck boxes. Uh, we need wind, wind starter decks. I have to buy the whole thing. Wind starter decks. We're good on everything else for now. I do want to rip some packs, but we gotta we gotta take priority right now over making sure that everything is everything's stocked. It looks like we went through not a whole lot of ETBs. Still under market for those, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to market on these. Because if our if our limiting factor was people not buying, uh, just because the just because the the price was or it wasn't it people weren't buying a lot, but not based on our price. There was they were buying they were not buying a lot because uh, we did not have the, the the shelves restocked. Then I don't have to worry about trying to undercut the market price right now because uh, that doesn't seem to really matter to some people. Let's just let's just stick to this. Let's see what the newly adjusted market prices is going to do. If that it also increases revenue, I don't want to be shooting our revenue in the foot when we really don't have to. Uh, we need to get uh, let's see bat plushies. Don't need to get a whole lot of them. Uh, books we could definitely do with the thing of books. Then, license sleeves, we're getting a little bit low on those. Get one thing of license sleeves here. I think we're good on everything else, so not a, not a terribly big restock uh, order here. I'm going to open up for business, and we'll just, we'll just stock as we go here. Welcome everybody, welcome in, welcome in. Another busy day here, of course, in Mosh Pit TCG world. Stuff on the warehouse shelving here. We got collection books. Really surprised at how well these collection books sell. There are wind starter decks that Justin completely wiped us out of. I will just put them here for now. There we go. I don't. I don't want to throw my throw away my moving. Actually, that wasn't my moving box. Never mind.
and we have the bat plushies. So that wasn't too wasn't too painful of a of a restock there. And now essentially we just wait for we all we do is we just simply wait for us to be able to pay the bills. Thirty eight seventy eight is our is our go to for today. We'll see what the what returning to 10 percent rounded up will do for the for our um, our margins. And I want to rip some packs too. Let's rip. Let's just have a whole big destiny rip here. See this. This looks closer to a hundred again. So maybe maybe the mod is just kind of screwy. It does seem like it slows down after a little while though. Okay, so let's go. Let's get our destiny book out. I would stop hitting F1. All right, let's put some of you out here. Gotta remember, I only take the stuff that we have multiples of. Those are good here. There we go. People sniping cards here from us. Okay, so people, yeah, people are still buying the 10% the round here, which is good. For 25.49, wow, look at that line that Clark's got. You can do it, Clark. I believe in you, buddy. Clark's doing a good job, you know? I got, I got no complaints about Clark. Rip open a couple packs here, base set. Nice, we got an EX tor Tortugas. No full art, no mega hits here so far today, but we also haven't been ripping a whole lot of packs. And we're also, also opening up a bunch of different sets too, which does kind of dilute our chances. Whoa, we got a gold, Draken gold. Wow, there we go, that's a gold foil. I think the mod tried to stop. So how I do is I hold the button down uh, the mouse button to open up stuff. Oh, I don't want to sell the only things we have. Um, and I think that that is also skipping the hits. Get a gold. There we go. And let's go to... Yeah, I'm trying to keep copies of stuff that I don't... Trying to keep, I'm trying to keep uh, stuff that we have multiple copies of. That way we don't keep getting inundated with the, the new card sound. Hi, Josh. Any, any whaling today, sir? Even the single stocked. So we're almost at, we are almost at paying bills territory. A little early morning rush, and then that was pretty much it. Rip open an ETB. Uh, let's rip an epic ETB. I know that this is this technically costs us money here, but that's okay. As long as we can replenish some singles here. Nice. Got a buzz seed. Okay, and another EX. So that's this is this is what happens when I tap. Here, I'll show you one more time. This is what happens when I tap uh, open. So 
So it goes fast, but it's also kind of slow. But when I hold it down, it just, it speeds through everything. But I think that holding it down also is canceling out the big hit um, pause, so. All right, we can now pay our, our bills. Go ahead and do that. Oof. That one, that one hurts a little bit. I have paid. So if it's telling me by tomorrow's episode that I haven't paid yet, we know something screwy. Our landlords might, they might be jipping us a little bit. Yo, singles are fully stocked again. Good, good, good. Looking great here. Hi, Pear. Oh, Pear was on, he was upset about something. You used to work book some more uh, board games. And apparently people were saying that this, if we have the trophy case near where pe people are playing, this also supposedly keeps them playing longer. Uh, but it's unconfirmed if that's true or not. But I might as well put it out there. If it's, I mean, if it works, it works, you know. I'll put you here. Mm, no. It'd be the first thing that they walk in and see. What do Ravs get? Not a whole lot, apparently. We're almost out of Mafia work, so we can order one of them, one of them, one of them. Let's get these out here. we go just a, a, again a little light restocking oh here comes mathis mathis with more plushies how many do you buy this time yeah he only got one i guess he needs a new pillow or something the conspiracy theory is holding true about mathis i think is i think he is actually building a bed out of all these plushies he's buying i heard that he's trying real hard to impress somebody who is either eating the plushies or is just not impressed and he's just trying to overwhelm them with even more plushies now that is the mathis way right there How you doing sir good to see you again here comes malf Alf instantly gonna go over here and play alex watching pair who's playing ryab right now Doing good on stock. Finally been selling these, those figurines there. Nice, picking up some fair price. Okay, I like it, I like it. Yeah, good pickup, Malf. That's Stinky Boba, hi Boba. Let's follow, let's follow Boba. Who's she playing? Oh, she's playing Alex, no. Who's she, who are you playing, Boba? Who dares play Boba? some basic ETB sold so we can take it off the shelf. Someone was buying uh, some game mats. So that's good. Oh, these are not... Those were not the ETBs. But we needed to restock those anyway. I would never get used to the labels being on the bottom or meaning the item that they're trying to show you that it's representing is on the bottom of the tag. Really weird. Uh, license sleeve, we might have enough space for them here. Eh, we didn't sell too many, but that's okay. Yeah, let's turn on the lights here. Trying to save a little bit on electricity anyway. All right, so even after paying bills and stuff, we're still floating 1600. Uh, we need more of the Clamigo mats. 
We can open up a we yeah, we can open up a legendary ETB. Okay, got a Royal Llama EX. And that's it. Let's get this here, get the Talon Ryu up out. We're doing have an empty shelf here. Let's try to spread that out a little bit. Oh, did one Destiny packs? You know what? Here's what you're missing here, Poindexter. Hi, Bear. Nice! Gold Foil Nanomite. And we got a Full Art. Look at that. Look what you missed. Another Full Art. Let's go. Oh, man. Is Destiny finally starting to pay off for us? These rips. Epic rips. Switch over to Destiny here. Nice. So we can't sell them, unfortunately, because we don't have multiple copies of them, but if we need to, if we need to dip into the stash, we can. Okay, we need to get some more bulk out. So this is all Destiny bulk over here. Arc's done for the day. And you know, it, it does seem like... Well, let, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's, let's see what we end up doing for revenue. Again, not the margin, not the take-home, but let's just see what we do for revenue. And build some more base boxes here. But now that we're progressing through here, it does feel like we're we're going more from a it's it's turning into more of like a legitimate like hey, we've got a job to do. We need to make sure this is stocked, we need to make sure this customer is taken care of, we need to make sure this and this and this and this. And it's funny because it does feel like a natural progression of an actual of an actual store. You know, when you first start a business, you're you're very personable. It's kind of like a, a YouTube channel as well. You're very personable. You want to you wanna respond to all YouTube comments and answer questions, that sort of stuff. You want to take a, a great interest in everyone who watches your video. And then eventually your channel gets to the point where it progresses enough to where you just can't, right? Like we can't we can't sit here and talk to customers because we have so many things to stock and keep stocked. Um I think we can get a couple more shelves. It'd be it'd be neat to keep shelves over here. That, that could free up a little bit of this for more packs. Um, the game mats, these game mats are not selling at all. The 10% markup. Yeah, so playing. Daylight's are burning here. As you can clearly see. Also, I need to check the cleansers here. Yeah, those two are out. What about the what about the big mama? Those are all out. Okay. He's put in here. Hi, Rob. And maybe I should I should I should probably consider putting a rack of cleansers in here just to just so I don't have to go back and forth like this every single time. It would be a little bit wiser. Good price, That's what I'm talking about. Hi, Rob. How'd your game go, buddy? 15 Dara, thank you. And we have some rare packs and a single. Thank you, sir, for using exact change. And of course, Ravs is the last customer in the store. What did Ravs get? He got three Decimite figurines and one basic pack. What a weird guy. Thank you, Ravs. All right, well, let's see what the final total was today after adjusting the prices, but making sure that we were staying on top of keeping all the uh, shelves here 
stocked, locked, and ready to rock. And uh, we didn't really sell out of too much of anything. So let's see what the final total was for day 52 after paying the bills. We had 15 complaints. The revenue was actually down. Uh, we were down by 1400 and what? $1,429, something like that. $28 and, and 90, was that? It's 97 cents or something. So a little bit, a little bit of, of an oddity, especially with us actually raising the prices. Um, I don't know what the outcome would have been if we'd stayed at, at, at the regular price, like under market. Um, it does seem like we sold less than we did. And that may be attributed to us raising the prices. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll find out and we'll keep on going here. So again, I do appreciate all the support, everyone. I know it was a light pack opening day, uh, but I think that we've, we've reached a nice little balance here. I can't really do anything about the mod. It doesn't seem like it anyway, that's going to allow me to, to just have like, if I turn this down, let's turn this down like five or four. Let's just see what four does for a pack. And let's see if it actually stops on a hit. So this feels more close to the base game. And it just went through that too. So 155 for a gold foil nanomite. Wow, that's a great hit. A great hit to end the day. Or start the day, depending on how you look at it here. Um, yeah, it just seems like it just flies through it no matter what, which is which is odd, but what can you do? So, but I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Again, thank you all very much for all the support. 1,000 likes on this video keeps it on the main channel, and I am so appreciative of everyone who is very enthusiastic about keeping this on the main channel and supporting it every single day. I've, I'm I'm still enjoying playing the game. I still welcome all the information that people feel pertinent. Uh, and uh, you know, it's it's been a it's been a blast playing TCG Shop Sim. I'm looking forward to screaming through the next episode and getting a level 29 for our next unlocks and beyond. Uh, where where are we close on the expansion here? That's going to be another landmark here. Yeah, we still need we still need more. So maybe we'll order some tables next time. But yeah, thank you all very much for all the support. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Clark. You've been, you're doing a great job, Clark. Yeah, you're, you're doing you're doing a great job. Keep it up, son. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody.